Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. Today I am so excited to be sharing my September plan with me. These first few spreads you're gonna see are ones that Instagram actually saw first. So if you're not already, you should definitely go follow me at Caitlin Marie De Silva so you don't miss those. This first official spread is a menu planner using post-its. I loved it. I showed it on a Planner Monday segment, I think a few weeks ago. And I also shared a podcast release schedule spread just the other day. This is an area where you can write down the release dates of all of your favorite podcasts. I had made a mistake on the page to the left, so to cover it up, I decided to add this quote from Rachel Hollis's book, Girl, Wash Your Face, and also an image of New York. I really wanna visit New York soon, so I'm just trying to put that vibe out there to the universe by surrounding myself with images of New York. Rachel Hollis's podcast and the one that she does with her husband have both quickly become favorites in my life. Both will be linked in the description box below, as well as any items I used in today's video to create these spreads. I've received so many podcast recommendations from you guys over the past couple of days so I feel like the next few weeks are just going to be filled with podcast discovering. I've also been getting questions asking for me to share my favorite podcast so I think I'm going to do a whole video on just podcasts in general and talking about why I love them so much. If that's a video you'd like to see or if you have any podcast suggestions for me, please leave them down below. I don't think one month goes by where I don't draw out a month at a glance and September is no exception. Because I'm heading back to school in literally less than a week, I'm crying inside and outside, to be honest. I knew I wanted something easy to put together, but would also give me plenty of room to write down due dates or presentation dates or assignment dates. Although September in general probably won't be very due date heavy because it's the start of the semester and things really start to pick up typically in October. But anyways, I decided to go with a simple vertical layout but instead of making it one page, which is what I usually do when I go for a vertical month at a glance, I made it two pages just to give me a little bit more writing room. I also colored in the weekends with a Tombow and this makes it really easy because I can visually see where each week is. This next spread is one that was inspired by a conversation I had with my cousin the other day. For those of you who don't know, my cousin is also a YouTuber here on YouTube. I don't know why I needed to clarify that, but I will have her channel linked down below. And we had gone on the topic of how we always feel like we're on our phones. I feel like throughout the day, I'm constantly checking Instagram, Facebook, emails, YouTube stats, just all this stuff. And I do feel like it's become a little bit of an addiction in my life. So I feel like for September, I want to give myself a little bit of a digital detox. Now, I can't remove myself from social media completely because that's my job is to be on these platforms and I do love it, but I think I can have a healthier relationship with it and a healthier relationship with my phone. So I'm gonna challenge myself to do three main things this month. One, to not check my phone before breakfast. Two, to turn off any notifications for all social media. And three, to put my phone away not check my phone 30 minutes before bed. I think these are things that should be doable, but I know for the first few days they're gonna be a bit of a challenge, so wish me luck. If you decide to join in on the digital detox, let me know. September is also the month that I want to get back into smoothie making. I've kind of let myself go in the smoothie department over the past few months and now that I am going to be embracing that student life again and I will need quick breakfast, I just think it's a good idea to get into the habit of making a smoothie every day. So this is just a spread meant to kind of inspire me. I have a section at the top to write down ingredients that I want to always have on hand because I think these are ingredients that you can use to make a variety of different types of smoothies. And then below there's a section for me to write down three recipes that either I come across or I create myself just so that I can document them. Mm -hmm. 
Last but not least, we've got my weekly spread for September. I will be going back and forth between this spread and my student bullet journal weekly spread that I showed a couple weeks ago. What makes this spread special though is that it's a Dutch door weekly spread. I've been getting lots of requests to do this, so I'm happy to finally be delivering one. What I love about creating an extra little panel in your weekly spread, which you're about to see me do, is that it gives you an opportunity to add in things like habit trackers, homework trackers, to-do lists, really anything without taking away space from your daily planning. And that's exactly what I decided to do with mine. I've got habit trackers for water, meditation, yoga, reading, and I have a section to write down homework for each one of my classes. And then on the other side of the Dutch door, I have a spot for a to-do list a study hours tracker and a little spot to add like what's coming up next week. So if I have a test coming up next week or an event that's particularly special, that's where I can write it. Each day of the week gets a good amount of real estate for writing events and daily to do's. I usually give Saturday and Sunday less real estate just because I don't really plan those days too heavily, especially during the school year. I just like to go with the flow, you know? And that, my friends, concludes this month's plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below which spread from this month's plan with me was your favorite. Take a few seconds to quickly thank you guys for helping me reach 100,000 subscribers. I honestly can't believe we hit that number. My mind is still blowing and I'm just so appreciative to have this community of love and support. I feel more motivated than ever to just keep creating content that hopefully you guys enjoy watching. I think this is going to be an interesting year on the channel because I will be going through a lot of change in my personal life as I, you know, transition from student life to I have to be an adult now life. <laughs> so uh, hopefully you will enjoy coming along that journey with me. I will see you all very soon with a new video and until then, bye guys. I think it's time we stop tipping.